In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Clap to God. Greet your neighbor on the left and on the right and tell them you're welcome in the house of the Lord. Tell them that's your seat. Amen. Amen. So again tomorrow, we shall be going to Gilgal. If it is possible for the sake of what is upon our woman of God, Pastor Innocent. Unless otherwise. But the altar would have shifted to Gilgal. Because I know we are going to be there up to around 8.30. So if you're working in town, Gilgal also is in Nankulabia. Invite somebody. Let's be there in time. Worship team, be ready. And when I'm speaking about him, be ready. I'm not talking about voices. Let your souls and spirit be present. Amen. Amen. Seven switches of the word. Pastor Nathan, before you tell us about the seven switches of the word, tell us why anyone in this world has to listen to the switches or doesn't have to. So give us your snippet over that in, in five minutes and then your wife will do the same and then you will break them down one by one. I need the new members who have come today and Neta, have not been part of the seven switches. I need this word to be active in their lives as it is to Jagala, us who have been part of all the services. How many of you there witness that surely this was necessary for us in such a time. Glory to God. So, Pastor Nathan, let's celebrate him. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And they attract. Amen. God bless you. Pastor Nathan, take us away for the five minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to take this opportunity to thank my father for this opportunity to share with the Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And I want to thank our pastors, Pastor Ivan and Pastor Innocent, and all the ministers. Our administrator, we love you so much. Hallelujah. And all the bishops in the house. <laughs> Why would someone in the world, wherever they are, be prompted to listen to the seven switches of the word? The word of God is a prescription. Hallelujah. If you don't take it, it doesn't heal you. I will say that again. The word of God is a prescription. If you don't take it, it will not heal you. What do I mean by this? All of us at one point in life, you have encountered a case whether, where you needed healing for your body. I want to approach it in the physical with a mind that life is spiritual that as we understand the physical the spiritual light will be cast on the spirit. Amen. When a doctor tells you that take this type of medicine at this frequency a day 
For example, two times three. And you take it two times one. You go back after a certain period of time to the doctor. Crying about the same sickness. Yet if you take it in the prescription that has been given to you, your body will be delivered. Hallelujah. For he says in this word that is there before no... Before you go any further, did you catch that? Oh my God, continue. <laughs> he says in this word, is there no balm in Gilead? Balm, balm, balm was a medicine. So, the word of God, as we come in the presence of God and sit under the word, as our father is sharing, one who had a headache, from that same word receives a prescription for their healing. Another one who has a need is ministered to by the same word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, you need to position yourself when the word of God comes you in the word depending on the state you are in the, where you need healing that when the word comes you find yourself in the word and therein is the medicine to heal. Hallelujah. So, on the expanse of this world, why I would say anyone would listen or be compelled to listen to the seven switches of the word is because if you have one area of your life sorted, you may be wanting in another. But as healing comes through the word of God, you come to the fullness of Christ. Hallelujah. Pattern after pattern. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Line by line. So, just like you cannot build a whole structure like this city house in one day. We started with the foundation, ground floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor. We are built as we come to listen to this word. We are built. As you read the word, a certain block on, 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 on you is laid, is positioned where it's supposed to be. As you hear by the word, another one is added. When you meditate, another block is added. When you speak, another block is added. When you do, another block is added. Amen. When you live by the word, because as you do, you, you are able to live by the word. To the fullness of the nature of God because God is love. Yeah. And you cannot love him and fail to keep his commandments. As you keep his commandments, you are walking in the fullness of Christ. Because it was love which brought him from heaven to come and die on us for the cross. And Love is the completeness of the commandments. My five minutes are done. <laughs> 
Haleluya. Amen. Wow. Pastor Nathan has taken us to a place where it's now a prescription. Praise the Lord. He has said something that uh, you can have the medicine. But there is a reason why they tell you take three times one. So when, when, when he was saying that, I saw... You know the way they put those medicines in the envelope. The envelope of the word. <laughs> and then I saw seven times one. The prescription. It does not matter how less you take. <laughs> I mean, to me, to me, that made perfect sense of the unit of the seven switches. <laughs> my Jesus, it has <laughs> triggered my soul. <laughs> Together with me, let's celebrate a woman of God. <laughs> Mchala Mugabi, take us on. Mchala Mugabi has a tendency in Kuropo Bank. You go ahead. As all bagger, but I have nothing to say. But now, if, they, if, you, if you tell you I have nothing to say, and she says, but, and you don't listen. This woman is deaf. We bless the Lord for her. Woman of God, go ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Uh, I thank Okay, so I would like to take this opportunity to thank Apostle for this um, moment. Thank you for fathering us. And, uh, Special regards to our pastors, Pastor Ivan and Pastor Innocent. To all the ministers, the administrators. Thank you so much for the work you're doing. And, uh, Pastor Ambrose and your dear wife, we are here. Yes, so the question, or maybe what Apostle has said, that why would one be prompted to listen to the seven churches? Now, I am going to base on myself. I want to use an example. When he shared about the seven switches, I was like, eh, I need to pull up my socks. Like there was something on the inside of me. Eh? I'll use English and Luganda. Okay. It's well. Like something on the inside of me, you know, like how you mm. have to when they tell you read the word, eh? like, read the word, you actually have to act on it. Like, get your Bible, read it. There's something else I learned in the first service. That you need. Yeah, yes. uh, he said something that it's not just getting the Bible and you read, mm. Mm. but also reading patterns. Hallelujah. And I noticed that if you ever want something, to learn something, especially from, let me see, let me give an example from Apostle. Watch or observe if there's something you want to learn from you. So, back to the seven switches that you have to read the words. You have to... Uh, hear it. And faith, you know like how they tell us faith, I'm believing God for this, I'm believing God for that. But how does that faith come? It comes by hearing. And hearing. So that means you don't hear once. Hallelujah. You keep hearing. Because of the and. and hearing. So you continuously hear and hear and hear and have no option but to hear. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, and then, why would you be prompted? Like, you hear something, you read about it, 
meditate on it. As you're meditating on something, you're actually visualizing. Visualizing. Let me give this scripture. The scripture that says, it's James 1 5. It says, He who lacks wisdom should ask of the Lord who gives liberally. So, you want wisdom. The Bible says, he who lacks wisdom should ask. But the only way you're going to get that is if you have read it. You have read it like you read it and you're hearing it. And meantime, by the way, even reading, eh, you can read out loud. Hallelujah. Especially, let me give you this thing of you get your Bible. Most times, I don't know who can be a witness to that, but most times, like you set your heart to read the Bible. There is a way sleep can come. And you want to sleep. Eh? You feel away. like that time sleep has occurred. Mm. So, you feel like that time sleep has occurred. You get to a point, you be like, you know what? No. I will read you out loud. You read the word to the world. No, so but as you're reading that word, now you can, like you're reading it for yourself. It's to yourself. You're hearing it as you are reading it. Amen. So, and at the same time, you're meditating Jesus. on that word. What you have so you sit or maybe go back to your room. And be like, hey, the scripture was saying this. Like, he who lacks wisdom should ask of the Lord who gives wisdom. How does the wisdom come? Wisdom will come like you're going to ask God to give you wisdom. But you also have to read. Yeah? Like get some books. There's something Apostle said in the first service. If you want to be rich, what do the rich do? Mm. Do they save? Do they invest? Now that comes through the meditation. Mm. What do they do? I want to be, let me give an example. I want to be an intercessor. What do the intercessors do? For how long do they pray? How long do they pray? Hmm? So, that helps us even in the word. So you speak, you speak, you speak that word, the word of God. Like the way they tell us you're the head and you're not the tail. You know you need to go. You need to speak something until it sits on the inside. And then you live by that word. Like, yes, you live by it, then you keep the word. And you are told that the word, you cannot, huh? you can't, like the way you tell us to love God. If you're loving God, then you're keeping His commandments. And His commandments is the word. So what the word tells you to do, we should do. So why would one be prompted to listen to the seven things? I have one answer. The answer to me is in Psalms 19, 130. 130. It says the entrance of your words. Psalms 119, verse 130. It says the entrance of your words gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. Mm-hmm. So, the more we read, the, why we should be prompted to listen to the seven scriptures, light is coming to us. That light is more understanding as you read the word of God. Yes, like the way Mwami Mugabe shared. Like, Mr. Okay, Mr. President. Mr. President. <laughs> Like the way he said that the word of God is a prescription. Yes. So the more we read the word of God, our eyes are being opened, our ears are being opened, and the Lord is helping us, and there's more understanding that is coming to us. That's my submission. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we thank God for the Mugabis? Let's just thank him for the Mugabis. You see, whenever a person is ministering, 
There is that specific thing that is yours. And the spirit of a man is like a magnet. It attracts things of your wife who has already spoken to the walls. Have you ever thought about Leave that? Leave this bedroom thing where your blanket is under the saucepan, the saucepan is under the pillow, the pillow is under the bed. But the bedroom organized by the word of God. Some of you, your houses don't even know you're born again. Because every time you're there, you're singing about Shiba Karunji. Here you have the perfect voice. When you go back home, you just oh, be... and, and not even your house knows. You see, the song on your heart must be listened by your bedroom before you get out of that room. Do you, do you know, because one of the things that God does to us is to place a song on our hearts. When you find a true worshiper, when that man woman, is going to the bathroom, the bathroom is hearing the sounds of worship. So when the woman of God was saying, read out the word, someone there might be asking, to who? The Bible says, all creation waits. Bible says, the tables are waiting. Your Carpet is waiting. Carpet Even your TV, when you speak to it, it will be mindful of what to deliver to you. I'm telling you, until all our things are in praise. Did you, did, for me, that was outstanding too. But also, the mere fact that uh, the woman of God is telling you to read it out. The word read it out. There is a place where you cannot keep silent. It works in two ways. It charges you up. Are you hearing me? It charges you up, but it also keeps you alert. When you read the word of God and speak it loud, nobody will come to a room. Even though you are alone in that room. So I think that was very, very, very peculiar. Thank you, Chalamari. And then also the fact that she speaks about Psalms 119-130. The entrance of the word of God brings light. So as, as we speak, we are speaking about light and success in your life. I want Njagala I want in my last days that people do not regret ever listening to me. Are you hearing me? I pray even though I have one person or two that they do not ever regret ever listening to me. I, I'm not talking about just being deep in oracles and revelations. I'm speaking about people's farms being deep. People's businesses being deep. People's families being deep. Because they encountered the word of this life. That's what I do. That this light is flooded in a man or a woman. My greatest joy is not seed. My greatest joy is it's not seed. Sin sigo. But my greatest joy is to see change in the heart of a man. A man who has left one level to another. That is my greatest joy. Hallelujah. Amen. So the entrance of the word of God brings light. Pastor Nathan. What is your outstanding switch and why is it outstanding to you? Switch chiku musamvu esingo kukolera. Narachi. Hallelujah. Amen. The outstanding switch. Switch a singer. Tricky question because it is a, a summation, but I would say switch seven. Switch a yom sambo. Because it is an embodiment 
of all Hallelujah. the seven switches. Kubanga yezinga byonna switch omukaga zona zili mu switch musanga. The Bible says he who doesn't have love. Bible yegama nti yataina kwagala. Doesn't know God. Tamanyi katonda. First Corinthians chapter 13. Abakolise kisoka 13. Apostle Paul gives us a, the, the essence of the seventh switch, which is love. Omutume Paul atuwa echinyusi echiri muswich omusamunga kwe kwagala. That if you don't have love, even if you offer your body to Nebo be sacrificed, to be sacrificed, okusadakiwa. And you don't have love. You profit nothing. If you don't have love. Even if you meditate. Even if you speak the word. Even if you do it. Outside the confines of love. Christ. Christ. In every miracle that he did. He was moved by compassion. <laughs> yeah. they are do you know that you can perform a miracle outside the confines of love for the glorification of the person not Christ you have heard statements like can I prophesy <laughs> what is the mind of God <laughs> pertaining the prophets? What is the revelation of Christ in the message that you are giving? How are you helping the person you are prophesying to to position themselves concerning their purpose and destiny. If that's done outside the confines of love, yes, because the gifts of God are without repentance, you can be all accurate, but according to Zion, you are of course. <laughs> Switch number seven. Switch a yomusam. Because, like I said, it is an embodiment. Kubanga ngami enti. When you read the life of the Church of Israel through the desert. Bo soma obula muwaba isi laidi okuita mudungu. God was extending His mercy. Katonda aria yonge zayo kusasi rakwe. And love unto them. No kuagala eri bo. Because that is his nature. That they rebelled a number of times. Actually, countless times because he called them their hard hearted. But because it is his nature to love, he always called them back. Even when he struck them. Using his servants, like for example, Nebuchadnezzar taking them into captivity. He, at a time, brought them back to him. Because he loved them. Our father Chitafe. might have rebuked someone, what they call tough love. But, but most of the time, as a child, when you are rebuked, unless you are ma mature enough, but again, babies are not mature, you might lose the eye of the love in the rebuke. So, I would say that keeping the commandment which is the seventh switch? Which is love? To me is outstanding. Because if I love God, I will live by 
by the word of God. Hallelujah. If I love God, I'll do his commandments. If I love God, I will do the word. Be ye not hearers only, but doers of the word. If I love God, I know the mind of God. I know the heart of God. I will speak life. My meditations will be renewed every morning according to the word of God. That will drive me you know, when you love God, no one can coerce you to read the Bible. Because it is a relationship issue. It is a relationship issue. God created man as a relationship being. So, to me, I would say switch number seven, which is love. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I just love the way he has summarized all the switches. You see, when, when the Bible speaks about the fruit of the Spirit and ends with self-control, self-control is like a thumb that seals all, this, all the what? It means that it does not matter how you produce peace, love, joy, if you don't have self-control, joy, you find joy in the bar. Amen. You find love on the streets. You get it, but self control aligns you to the word of God. So it takes me to his arteries that has sealed the seven switches by, by, by keeping the word and keeping the commandments of God by love. Uh, to me, that's very, very outstanding. I'm not going to ask you the same question because we have tendencies here that Omwami Chakoba. So, woman of God. <laughs> so, do you want to tell us your best switch? What was outstanding for you? Why is the same? It's not. Give us yours, and then I will give you the question I wanted to give you. Give us that in a brief. I want to listen to that. Yeah. Well, mine, mine is switch number four. A young singer switch number nine. That is speak the word. Okogere <laughs> chigambo. Uh, Proverbs 18 21 says death and life are in the power of the tongue mm. and those who lack it will eat its fruit Hallelujah. so with speaking the word eh? just apart from the word of God yeah. what do I speak over myself or what do I speak to others what do I see what comes out of my mouth because what I am speaking actually carries power either life or it's death Either I am building someone's life or changing someone's life with what I speak. And with this, what I'm speaking, it's either bringing love I am portraying the Christ I carry. I am doing what the word tells me to do and what I'm speaking. Yeah, basically that's it. Wow. <laughs> Oh God. Woman of God, I apologize. You see. Oh Jesus, that's that's wonderful. You see, that's very key. That's very key. The power of formation and the power of creation. Thank you. I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew. I knew, I knew. Sister Julia, I knew. Hey. The power of creation and formation. Meanwhile, if you're, if you're not a son, you cannot interpret these things. Because if you find creation and formation, you might think it's the same. The power of creation and formation lies on the tongue. 
There are three things that are important to a man for your prosperity and success. I spoke about those things in Switch 7. And we said there is something about the world that you live in. There is something about the God that created you. And there is something about you as a person. Which has asked us a question. Which we should take on now. What do you tell the world you're going to? You accepted that your caste. And then all you testify about the world around you is the curse of your family. What, what do you tell the world? Because this, the, we, there is a way we, we tend to worship God and curse the world he created for Am us. Am I speaking to somebody? Because you just come and worship, but when you go home, you just forget that and God works in the world you there was a time I preached, we remember that the world where we are cast life, that is the same world where people testify. But the question is, what do you tell your world? Secondly, what do you tell yourself? How many here went back after the sermon and looked in the mirror and spoke to themselves? Give me a mirror. You see, I told you, go back. I am not a, 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 a comedian. Comedian or your Aha, Aha, No, You are interpreting <laughs> I'm not an actor. You get it? I'm not an actor. The words I'm telling you come from above. I also practically can practice the same sermons. People who stay with me know. I listen to those sermons again and I do them. Go back in the mirror. Look at yourself and for the first time. Converse with yourself. Some of you are even shy over your own self. Speak to yourself. You're not you. But no, sacrifice your ego. Just take a chua go and see. Go in the mirror if you're a man, if you're a woman. Tell that man in the mirror because the man you tell in the mirror will tell you. That's the science of a mirror. It, 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 it reciprocates what you do to it. And that's how we should face life. It produces what you give it. Look at yourself in the mirror. So, do you know you can you can fear to look at yourself Besides in the, the other mirror. thing of not looking the way you are. Yeah. Look, tell yourself. We are destined for nations. We are not like the fallen fathers. We can do better. Greatness is in the inside of us. Tell him in the mirror because the person in the mirror will also tell you. And in that way you will believe what you speak. Tell that person in the mirror because that's the man within you. Tell that person that the world looks dark but we are the light of the world. The light, the, the, the life looks disorganized but we find the meaning there in. Tell him, tell her fear not. Fear not. God is with us. Just looking at your no one will prove you otherwise. I say tomorrow is a better day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor Nathan.
Give us a recap. In the next seven minutes, your wife gives us a recap and we finish the service. Joshua. Joshua. Chapter 1, verse 8. Says. Says. That this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. But it shall meditate on it day and night. So that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous and have good success. Let's run quickly to the book of Psalms chapter 119 verse 105 Psalms 119 verse 105 He says your lamp your word is a, is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So it means it is the lamp which produces the light. It is the, it is the lamp is what produces the light. But the lamp uses oil. Hmm? Put as, as a, a mental note on that one. Take a the book of Proverbs, Engero. chapter 6, verse 23. For, your command, for the commandment is a lamp, and the teaching a light. And the reproofs of discipline are the way of life. No, no, kunenya kuoyo akuigirizali yekuberi ovulamu. Meto not for the commandment is a lamp. Tikubanga eteka tavaza. For the lamp, for the word is a lamp. Echira giro musana. So the word is a commandment. No, kunenya kuoyo akuigirizali yekuberi ovulamu. But then a lamp uses oil. To light. The word of God is, is it is, is is related to a seed. In every seed is an element of oil that preserves it. My God. And when a seed is treated to certain conditions, you are able to extract the oil. And for, ex uh, for example, I would use corn, kasoli. It has the oil component. And when you treat it, you can get wine from the starch. Yeah, you can ferment the starch and then get the wine. Now, the oil and the wine both come from a seed. But the oil and the wine are both figures of the Spirit of God. The oil and the wine are all figures chifanani chamoyo mtukufu yes so you can be filled with wine which is the spirit of God and it is the same spirit of God who are not filled with oil and he says in Revelation chapter 3 verse 21 I stand at the door and knock. 
If you open for me, I will enter and sup with you at the bread. <laughs> now, the same corn can make bread. From it, you can get oil. And from it, you can get wine. Are you so sure you're still at the seven switch? <laughs> Man of God, continue. Because <laughs> I see where you've taken us. <laughs> now, this is oh, Jesus. the word. The sum. You told me to sum up them. So it is the summation of the word of God. When you sit on the word, from it, you can get oil, you can get wine, you can get, wine, you can get bread. God bless you. Whoa! I felt like that's another sermon. You know they're teaching, what was it called? The bread, the, the oil and the water. Woo! You see, what the man of God is trying to say, depending on, on your quality time with the word of God, you see, now, some people were confused because he was doing the figurativeness of the spirit. But let, let me bring you to your understanding like he started with us. When you decide to buy maize, some of us are farmers. A, a kilo of maize now has dropped to around 500 sheep. Are you hearing me? There is a time it raises. So as a farmer, you can decide to sell that corn like, like the seed. But the man of God is saying there is a man who presses more demand on that seed and probably gets maize flour from it from the same seed. The other sold 600. For you who has portion, you're selling 1 to 100. The same kilo. But there is a man who also sells the same what we call cornflakes. The time it is taken, the time cornflakes takes is not the time Flattics. But the man who has taken more time with that very own seed produces a kilo of conflicts. And a kilo of conflicts is around 40,000. Plus, how much time do you spend with your word? Because you can either get oil, but the same place you have got oil. You can get bread. But when you give it some more time and diligence, you can produce wine. It means you can read the word and get drunk. That's another dimension. Where you wake up in your bed and you shake up. Zato, shake it up. Yeah? Do not be drunk with wine. But with the spirit of God. And getting drunk. I mean, according to this light. Getting what can cause you to be drunk by the word. Takes a different dimension of diligence. And some more time. So in a recap, the man is telling us, just give yourself to the seven switches. Give, get some time with them. Start practicing. Probably the series, the first series are done now. You will never know tomorrow, Pastor Jephel might decide I'm going to do the seven switches again. Amen. But when you give them time now, when he comes back, he'll be adding on to what you are. Let us learn to add value in our Christianity. But the resultless Christianity is Christo, Christo, 
you must be resultful. There is a gospel that results preach more than Ephesians and Matthew. That's how the world will know you. And see what you are going to And see what you are going to do. You are no longer going to tell them the that Bible Matthew says. The Bible is clear. The world will know you by your fruits. Bible is clear. The world will know you by your fruits. For you to bear fruits, give time to the word. And you will yield to all the dimensions the man of God has spoken about. I believe that's a fool someone. If you give him time, he will preach for one hour to explain that. That's how deep it was. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The woman of God, go ahead. Give us a recap of what you think. What is that package that you'd want a person? to go with tonight, what is that that is life changing that all the switches you would like to emit out of your spirit? Amen. Um, as Apostle was talking, something dropped in <laughs> You know like what Malachi 3.10 says of uh, bring all the tithes mm. into mm. the storehouse, eh? Mm. Do it type of our time. My God. We have 24 hours. Tuina. In a sour So do we talk of the two hours and 40 minutes? To Jack Sawa Biddy Neda Chica, Nanga Chechimwe Chekumi, Chetua Katonda, Okuvam Chigambo. The two hours and 40 minutes. Sawa Biddy Neda Chicana. How much time do we give to the word of God? There is something that is so addictive that I have noticed. WhatsApp, eh? mm. Do you know you can be on WhatsApp the entire night? And you're not tired. I not My God. My but God. how much time do we give to the word of God? What are we feeding our spirits? With. Like the way you, you feed your body with food and water. Like the way they tell us that take water, take water. Because it's a nutrient that our body needs. And our body, I think, contains like 80% of water, if yep. I am right. Mm. But how much? Okay, what percentage of the word do you have? So, personally, I say I'm a man in need. And I'm in need of the word. And I'm in need of the word. I don't personally, know whether for you you made it already. <laughs> I am a man in need. And, and I need the word of God. So, if I need the word of God, I will put an effort to read the word of God. I will put an effort to read the word of God. I will put an effort to read the word of God. I will put an effort to read the word of God. To, uh, to do what? To, sorry, to hear the o, word. Okulidize, to take time off, meditate with the word. Of take word. off time and speak it. I am one person who believes in speaking. Oh my God. I will not keep silent. 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 I will not keep Especially when I'm faced with a situation. Eh? Someone told me that, eh, Boy, your boldness is up there. At At times you you need need to to come hold down. <laughs> but then I be there and I feel something on the inside of me that is pushing me and I'll be like, like my faith. Like, 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 I felt sick, like really, really ill. I was admitted in hospital. Admitted for two weeks. But my time there on that bed, somehow scriptures would come back to me. I kept telling myself, 
I am made real, I am whole again, the blood of Jesus. That little word I knew, because as it would be good anyway, I had just given my life to Christ. And I remember in the world where I was, people were passing on. But here I was, and I'm like, Lord, okay, I have to serve you, so I can't die now. <laughs> I, as in that life, I need that life that you give. So I kept speaking over myself. Another, let me use this. Another thing I kept speaking. This I will speak honestly in because I have I am seeing so many ladies. So let me use this example. My mom is a witness to this. Before I got married, I wanted to get married. You know, like how you believe in God, you know, you know, really. So, I was, I'm a bit crazy in particular things. I started buying things. <laughs> I started buying things and putting them in a suitcase. And I'm like, I'm going to get married. So, I buy things, put in my suitcase. Buy things, put in my room. Buy things. So, during COVID, COVID-19. COVID-19. I was at home. Naliwaka. So I spent most of my time reading my Bible, fasting, doing so many things. But I remember every night I would go to my room and pick my suitcase and I would take it to the front door of my mother's house and I would point to that door and I tell it I am walking out of here. I am getting into my marriage. Oh. <laughs> I would I would tell that do I command you to open and I would speak to the heavens I'd be like by the way clear up oh. and I would tell the atmosphere you're clearing up for me and I was like now you man wherever you are flowers, flowers. let's send flowers to Pastor Nathan flowers <laughs> my Jesus I'd be like I call you out Wherever you are, whatever is holding your feet, I command your feet to be loosed. Like whatever is holding you, I command it to let go. I would speak, you know, like it is not good for man to be alone. Eh? Oh, I was like a crazy woman. Jesus. My mother would look at me, you know, turn her head, eh? like is she is okay? Oh, man, she's not okay. Oh, and I would, and meantime, eh, by the way, I never used to mind about her because she would be watching her news. Na so maybe, mufanga, I, think, yeah, I would drag my suitcase. My and and pull it, like we'll roll it. You know, like roll the they, they, they roll it eh, to the airport. Eh? <laughs> eh, yange, jikulula, to that door. Jesus. So I would point to that door. Nali. And I did that for I don't know how long. There was no man in my life. No one telling me anything. But I didn't stop believing. I kept speaking it. I'm like, Lord, it is not good for man to be alone. So he is he there. He he and also, by the way, may I have to break a pattern. Apostle, I'm sorry. I'm it's sharing well, this. It's well, it's well. But I had to break a pattern in my family. Now, why I'm saying this, eh? I could be having some people who are not like born again in this place. Now, I, I come from that kind of family. family. And then you're watching things that are going on in your family. And I'm coming. I'm going to. I won't hear honestly. But I had that thing pushing. Honestly, I, I think I had a force. And I believe it was the Spirit of God. That would push me. And I would act. Either I hold back or I act. Amen. As in, as in, either I hold back or I do it. So I kept speaking it. I didn't stop. And let me tell you something. I remember buying a sweater for the man to be. O mani chibano chibata mani gola bika wariosa bangato no boasi bana inga mona temu. So it's the sweater was an invitation. Continue. So I bought a sweater. A sweater. A particular size. Size. So as with a friend of mine, as I was buying it, and she told me, "For you, you're crazy. How can? What if it comes that he's not that size? What if he's not that size? This is my size. This is size yange ye. Kavashata yaka." 
I, so I, you know, I was like, Lord, okay, me, I'm doing certain things. And why I'm saying all that is because I had walked away from something, eh? and I'm Wali, like, Lord, I'm doing this for you. Wali wobi and I I'm doing this for you, Lord. Mukama, if it's for your glory. Because eh? I knew I was me, I, I should say I'm a person of woe. Like, if I am praying, I will be like a mad woman. Because they've been in the demo, you either move away from my, those things stand in front of me. You have to move. I don't like distractions. So, I, I bought that sweater. And I put it in my suitcase. And I'm like, now, Lord, I have bought, that's the size. <laughs> that one. And I kept it there. So remember, there was a particular day my mother called me. That day, I had not brought out my suitcase. And she told me, today, where is the suitcase? What has happened? I told her, hey, you've reminded me. Hey, my God. <laughs> but this is something she had observed because I was doing it. So I acted on that one. And you know, like you receive prophecies of hey, you're going to get married, you're going to get married. Well, 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 you receive that prophecy, then you no. go back home and sleep. Well, you, have you, have you, have you, have you don't even tarry. tarry. Some of you have things to deal with in your well, family. You Maybe your, your pattern was so easy. Yeah, some of us had to break certain chains. Some of us had to break certain chains. I'm a kind of person because I have nieces and nephews. Because I'm the last born in our family. Out of nine. Um, so that means I have elder sisters and elder brothers. Amen. So I will tell, you know, like how you say, no, I will not look like my siblings. So I refuse that. And I kept saying it, I kept saying it. Like, no, if I am in mean you, I am mean you, I mean you creature. So these people. But from me, they have to see me as an example. Food. Amen. Oh, Jesus. So I would tell my kids, I would tell my, kids my nephews and my nieces, I would tell but them. <laughs> if you come and tell me you have a boyfriend, my first question is he born again? Bovanga wajanga no nga mantinina boyfriend. To me that is priority. Like Ali Tugwawa. Eh, Molokole over. Because there are certain things I don't believe. You come and tell me you're born again and you're with a man who is an unbeliever. You're with a man who is an unbeliever. I am not ready to fight certain demons. Ah, <laughs> yes, I am not ready to fight certain battles. If, <laughs> I, I, am I, am if I am fighting those battles. So that, that means if I am breaking patterns, my but children eh, should not break the same patterns. patterns. I need to make the path easy for them. I need to make the path easy for them. So anyway, back to the <laughs> back to this. Eh? Like the seven switches. Eh? That I, <laughs> Shaka, I received the, you know like how you receive the word mm. and I would speak it. Speak it how? I am, how I'm, okay, I was acting. How was I acting? <laughs> How was I acting? I was. Bagen do tani kogula ama sweater ne suitcase. Mukama to wait. But you. Ade bagen ama bapima. Continue. So I would act on the word. Nari kolokizira chigambo ngaji fuga. And I never stopped speaking. I remember there's a friend of mine who told me that ye kwe. Waluwa mkwano wangomu ya ngamba. Ya ngamba tizunze makanisa. I didn't understand what she meant by that. So I asked her. Zunze makanisa. How many churches have I been to? Ah. I was hurt by that statement. But I'm like okay good. My seeking you. Every time I am seeking you, there has to be a different mark. And say, I don't want us to be the same. Life. Yeah. You know why? If I have brought the Lord close to me, something should wrap with me from the Lord. So even when I'm reading the word, I want something to wrap. Every time I'm reading the word, something should rub on me. Like it gets off the word, rubs on me. So I be like, Lord, I'm reading the word. Eh? I have to walk out when I'm different from this room. Every time I set my heart to read the word, I have to go out when I'm different. 
So, when she told me that she made that statement, I was pushed to seek God more. I was like, okay, so this should not limit me, but I'm actually going to seek God more. That time when I was, just, I was actually just switching, it was from the church where I was, whereby you're not supposed to go to another church, but the Lord had actually led me to where I was going. No, no, no. My friend, he called that comment. Yes, he called that comment. Because she knew I had, she didn't know the reason that I had been led to go out of where I was before to a different ministry. But I was led to go elsewhere. And right now she testifies and tells me, to, hey, when I look you there's something totally different about you so I would like to encourage us eh, that we should not just stop at reading the word hearing the word meditating let's speak the word of God let's live by it let's do it and let's keep it yes hallelujah amen hallelujah You see, the world is in trouble. We have soldiers and giants out there. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, God is still at work. And I want to thank the Lord for Mr. and Mrs. Mugabe. Let's, Let's rise up on our feet, all of us. You see, this is peculiar light. Personally, I, am, I have been made more of doing the word of God. Every time God speaks to me, I do. A few of you can go the crazy path like of Muchala Mugami. But you don't know that's the only way. The woman of God says, I would go and command that door. To open. But the door was opening every day. But for she needed a specific opening. She needed an opening with another Mugabe like image. And when it opened, she knew. It brings the reality of, of, of uh, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. Those who wait upon the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord. He shall renew their strength. And they will mount upon wings. This is my last nudge to us. We say find a place in the word. By reading what God has availed. Secondly, hear the word. And do not just hear the word. Hear by the word. For when you hear the word, the word comes to you. But remember, I told you when you hear by the word, the same word that came to you has something to tell you. You hear the word is telling you. We say, meditate upon the word. Carefully assembling. You see, let me tell you, there, there are certain things in our lives that we have not commissioned to the word of God. You praise and praise and praise and praise. But when you get sick, you cannot praise. You run to the doctor. You get it? Okay, when you get sick, you pray for yourself. But when you lose a person, Papa Ben Hin says, Papa ben Hin his father died in the morning. He was in a crusade in the evening. That's carefully assembling. And what God to give me the boldness that even in such a state, I am able to stand and make an altar call with a casket in front of me. Are you hearing me? Says, meditate upon the word. These people are not doing these things just because they are made like that. They have carefully assembled. No, for example, me personally, I don't fear death. You get it? I don't. And the Lord has taught me much about it. Why? Because I have Salt logos and rema pertaining that. 
When the Lord is looking for men who are going to die for this generation, I will run out and register first. It is not that I didn't but out of my meditation I have come to settle for the way of the Lord do you get what I am saying I have come to say, meditate upon the word of God you see, let's speak the word which Adam Gabi's biggest pillar Let's speak the word. Do not keep quiet. Speak the word. Of God. Speak about that word. Even though you don't see it, speak it again. If you don't see it again, speak it again. Now, after saying it, do it. You see, the woman of God was doing the word. You know, to the world, it's madness. You can't just get a suitcase every morning and you're going to the world. And then you come back with the same suitcase. That's madness. But yet it's, it's in the madness that your position. And also the fact of waiting. For the right Do not just be excited. I don't know that I'm speaking to somebody. Do the word of God. And then live by it. Live by it. Be satisfied not on any other food. But be satisfied with the word of the Lord. Because when you get satisfied, the nutrients will supply all the body. And you start living. Your body starts manifesting that which you feasted. And lastly, keep the word. A man who keeps the word does not have hopes in children. Her hopes or his hopes are not in the parents. The hope is in the word of before go, running to the parents before running to the Some doctors of you the reason why the word of God is not working perfectly it is because you don't trust it enough and God knows when you don't trust his word enough trust it I believe that in among this sermon series, man of God, many buddings and sprouting outs are going to come. And we shall see results in the name of Jesus. If you're here, I feel a conviction that the Lord has been speaking to someone here. You have not yet given your life to Christ formally. You have never stood before the multitudes and tell them that you are for Christ. God has whispered to my ears. That he has already spoken to you in this service to give your life to Christ before giving your life to Christ before doing anything come. are you there? you want to give your life to Christ you've you've never never given Christ your life to Christ. but I'm not going to take a lot of time on that because this is an opening I've seen it and I know that person is here interesting oh glory to God amazing Sonia the Lord will do you well Oh, sunny day, oh, my God, oh, sunny day, oh, my God, oh, sunny day, oh, my God. Oli wama omwana wendiga Oli wama ye omwana wendiga Oli wama ye omwana wendiga Yes 
Lift up your hands and say these words. Dear Lord Jesus, today I come in public like you have invited me. I am yours from today onwards. Let the world know, let the heavens know that my heart accepted you. I believe in my heart that you died and rose again. And today, I confess in the public that I am born again. I am saved. Yeah. 